hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. First news is from Asus. Asus Zenfone 4 is going to be launched on August 17th and these are some of the latest leaked images. It will have dual rear cameras with second camera being a wide angle lens just like the LG G6. On the other hand, Asus Zenfone 4, Selfie Pro and Selfie have been listed on the Asus website. Both the phones will come with dual camera setup on the front with one being a wide angle front camera. Both the phones will have the same specs, Snapdragon 625 processor with 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage, a Super AMOLED display. Next news is from Samsung. Samsung has launched Bixby along with Samsung S8 but at the time of launch Bixby was not ready. After a few months they launched it in South Korea and then US and now they are rolling it out throughout the globe. Bixby is a virtual assistant by Samsung just like Google Assistant which Samsung is trying to push on us. Next news is from Google. Google has updated Google search app for Indian users. Below the search bar we can see some quick shortcuts for cricket scores, weather, nearby restaurants, ATM and so on. The most frequently used shortcuts will appear at the top and by clicking a button you can have access to many more shortcuts. Next news is from Microsoft. Windows has announced a new version of Windows 10 called Windows 10 Pro for professionals with heavy workloads. This version of Windows 10 features server grade file system, support for persistent memory, faster file sharing speeds, support high end hardware like 4 CPU cores and 6 TB of RAM. A normal Windows 10 supports 2 CPUs and 2 TB of RAM. Next news is from Motorola. These are some of the latest leaked images of Moto X4. It looks like a combination of S8 and Moto Z without the Moto Mod pins. Next news is from LG. LG has launched LG Q6 just 2 days ago at 15,000 rupees with a full vision display just like the LG G6. Now the company has confirmed that it will launch LG Q6 Plus on September 10th at 18,000 rupees. Q6 Plus also has the same specs as LG Q6 with 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. At least they should have bumped up the processor. It has the same old Snapdragon 435 processor. Next news is from HTC. HTC is about to launch a mini version of HTC U11 called HTC U11 Live with a Snapdragon 630 processor. Just like the U11, U11 Live will also come with Edge Sense technology where you can squeeze your phone to perform some actions. Next news is from Google. Google has rolled out anti-phishing feature on Android a an year ago and now they have rolled it out in iOS. Whenever you click a link on Gmail, if it's a suspicious link, you will get an error message like this. It is one of those many ways Google tries to protect you from being scammed or hacked. Next news is about Facebook. There's a software called Facebook Password Stealer or Facebook Password Recoverer which as the name suggests can steal passwords of your friends or family members but at the same time there's a Trojan virus in it which steals your passwords so definitely stay away from softwares like that. Next news is from WhatsApp. WhatsApp is testing a new feature that adds filters to your photos just like in iOS. WhatsApp on iPhone has this feature for about a year and now they are testing it on Android. There are 5 filters, pop, black and white, cool, chrome and film. By the way, there is no guarantee that this feature might come to the final version of WhatsApp. Next news is from Coolpad. Coolpad is set to launch Coolpad Play 6 in India on August 20th. It has the same specs and looks as Coolpad Cool 1 with a Snapdragon 653 processor, 6GB RAM, 64GB of internal storage with a 4000mAh battery. Unlike the Coolpad Cool 1, it might come with Cool OS. Price has not been revealed but it might be priced around 15,000 rupees. Next news is from LG. LG's new smartphone, LG V30, will be the first smartphone to boost a camera with f1.6 aperture. The next best thing is f1.7, seen in phones like Samsung S8. With f1.6 aperture, we get better images even in low light conditions. Next news is about the Xiaomi's MIUI. According to an Indian based security firm, eScan Antivirus, there are a lot of security issues with the MIUI software seen in all the Xiaomi phones. Honestly, it's only a security issue if you leave your phone unattended without a password or unlocked. So unless you do that, there's no need to worry about these issues. Next news is from Micromax. Micromax is all set to launch Micromax Canvas Infinity on August 22nd with a huge display in 18 to 9 aspect ratio. Micromax calls it an infinity display like Samsung does but it looks more like the LG G6. Next news is from Xiaomi. Xiaomi is going to set up an offline Mi store in Delhi in coming few weeks. 
This has been confirmed by the Vice President of Xiaomi India. Aside from phones like Redmi 4 or the Redmi Note 4, Xiaomi sells a lot of smart products like earphones, speakers, smart bulbs, even smart electric rice cookers. So I wish Xiaomi will start selling other products at least in their offline store. Next news is from Uber. Uber is going to launch an in-app messaging feature specifically in India. So next time you might not get a call from your cab, instead the driver might spam your phone asking you to come down immediately. Next news is from Samsung. Samsung has introduced a wide range of mobile audio accessories in India under 7000 rupees. They have launched Samsung Level Box Slim, a wireless speaker with IPX7 certification for water resistance at 6700 rupees, Samsung wireless speaker bottle that produces 360 degree surround sound with LED lights under 7000 rupees, next a smaller Samsung wireless speaker with a scoop design for 2800 rupees, Samsung level active Bluetooth headset with splash and sweat resistance for 5000 rupees, Samsung in ear headphones for 1900 rupees. So guys that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.